The last video I'm going to have about general orientation and getting to know Google Classroom is strictly on the settings for the class. So here in the class, you have the capability of being able to adjust the name, the class description, the section, any detail that you want to put in. This can all be changed. You also have the option of changing the class code. So if you're concerned about students uh, jumping into your classroom that don't belong there, you can do so. You can also copy it so that way you can paste it on a document. You can also display it straight from here so that way it's larger. You can hit full screen to make it even larger yet if you want students to join by that manner. Then you can also make it that you can disable the code. So by hitting disable, then you make it that no one can join using a class code at that time. I'll re-enable it. At any time, you also have the freedom to reset a class code. So when I hit reset, it'll change the class code and make it a different combo. So that way, if I need to add students, but I don't want the old one out, I can change that. Another setting that you can adjust is showing deleted items. So as you delete items, you can make it that those are visible. Just keep in mind that you'll have to hit save if you make that change. Guardian summaries is the capability of guardians being able to be connected to their student. It doesn't mean that they can access Google Classroom. All it means is that they get weekly or daily emails depending on how they set up. So when I hit see example, this is the email example that they would receive. And it just gives an overview of what's due and when. And this is a prime example of why it's so important that you set due dates, which I'll get into more in the future. It's so important that you set due dates on your assignments. You have some adjustments that you can make to the grading. I don't know if you will use the grading feature in Google Classroom or not, but you can set an overall grade calculation, set it by total points or weighted by categories, and you can create categories. When you set an overall grade calculation, you then have the option to show the overall grade to students. You can turn that off and on. Just keep in mind that the color will change if it is on. And then here is where you can add grade categories if you want to. So you could do classwork and you could do tests. And that allows you to be able to do total points, but you can also weight these by percent. Just depending on how you want to set it up. When you're done with your class settings, if you've made any adjustments, make sure you save it.